Hey, how's it going again? Uh, another tutorial here showing you another trick to your DSLR camera. Um, this is one that involves installing Magic Lantern on your camera. Magic Lantern is a great uh, menu um, that you can install very easily and for free that will allow you to change things like your ISO, aperture, screen, uh, shutter speed for video on the fly very quickly and easily. And it's really important if you're going to do some video work and you're going to be, uh, you know, going into different lighting sources, different environments. Um, so this will really help you, uh, again, take the right type of video uh, before you go in and edit it in post. So I'm at the magiclantern.fm slash download page, and um, I am using a T3i, but uh, this release is supposed to be stable on uh, 5D Mark II, the 50D, 60D, uh, 500D, so it's supposed to be, use, uh, be usable for many different uh, camera uh, models. So uh, what you're going to do is just do a direct download, and it's not very small or not very large. It's a five megabyte zip file. Um, so once you're done with that, uh, you're going to go into your downloads, and you're going to find Magic Lantern. I've already uh, compressed it here, uh, opened it up. Um, so this is everything you're going to need right here to put on your camera. So I've got my SD card right here formatted and that's just going to go in my card reader slot right here. And so now you see once I have popped in my SD card that I have all this information and basically all this is is everything from the unzipped file. You need all of this. I know you think that you only need your camera type, but you're actually going to need all this information, which you're going to then need to drag into your SD card over here. I'm not going to do that, obviously, because I've already done it, but this is what it would look like. So now I've got my camera back on. It's uh, SD cards back in, set to manual. Uh, so what you're going to do is navigate over to the uh, firmware uh, window screen again. So you're not going to be using format from here where you cleaned out your SD card. You're going to use it under your firmware version. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to hit OK and update. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to redo it. But basically if you've dragged in everything... Um, you should have everything you need now to do the update and what you'll get is this green success thing when, you, when you're done, when you hit OK. Um, and that means that basically it's successfully installed on your computer, uh, the boot disk flag is enabled, yada yada yada. And so now when you go out and you go to your actual camera screen, you're going to see now, and I've, I've enabled the grid, but what you're looking for at the bottom here is this manual ability now to, for me to uh, very easily adjust my shutter speed. I'm just using the knob at the top here to adjust that little number. So that's 150, 140. Um, I can adjust the uh, f-stop right there where it says 2.8 by holding this button and doing the same motion. And as you see, that will adjust the f-stop right there. And then finally, I can easily just hit ISO immediately, adjust my ISO, and boom, I've got my shutter, I've got my lens cap on, so it's not just giving you feedback. But this is a great handy utility um, for you, especially in video mode. So that's how you install Magic Lantern. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, it's a great way to start really understanding your camera. It's great for video. And... Um, subscribe to the channel so that you can get more tutorials of this nature if you enjoyed it. Um, also I recommend Dave Dugdale and Newman Films YouTube channel. They both have great tutorials on uh, much the same thing for film with DSLR cameras. Thanks again for watching.